The Seventh Samurai is directed by Kira Kurosawa, stars Toshihiro Mifune and I know they're notable actors. I can only remember Toshihiro Mifune right now, but I'm sure uh, Takashi... It doesn't matter right now. Let me just say is that the amount of respect I have for Kira Kurosawa, even though this is like the only film I've seen from him, and I, I plan to see more, but just the amount of respect I have for Akira Kurosawa is immense. It's gigantic. Like, the amount of work that goes into Seven Samurai is incredible. Like, like the scene from... Oh, maybe I should talk about what Seven Samurai is about first. Seven Samurai is about, you know, a group of farmers who uh, are going to get raided by bandits. And so they set out to uh, get samurai to uh, help them, and they end up bringing back seven samurai. And then just, you know, the plot goes on from there. But it's like, this. let me get back to like just how hard working this is. It's like, I think, like if I remember correctly, it was like an entire year of filming. Uh, so it like went into winter, which is why like if you look closely enough in the final scene where they're like, we survived another day, you can see like their breath, you know, just going out and you're like, oh, wow. Because it's just like, and not to mention, if I'm not mistaken, Kira Kurosawa got also like frostbite, which just the dedication. And then the scene where they're burning down you know, uh, the bandit village, and the bandit village, it, it was like very dry that day, so it was very dangerous. And so it was just like this incredibly dangerous, you know, you know, thing to shoot. But uh, they ended up getting it perfectly. And, you know, I, I could just go on forever. But I feel like the thing that I love most about this film is the characters. I mean, you have Kikuchio, who is just probably everybody's favorite character. It's like, like if you've ever watched this film, it's like you can't help but love the scene where Kikuchio is lecturing the samurai on like, saying that, you know, the samurai or the reason why the villagers are like this. Which, like, makes a lot of sense, because it's like, Kikuchio's job in this, in this film is to bridge the gap between the samurai and the farmers. Which, he just, it just does, his character does an incredible job of doing that. You know, if I have one, uh, one little dislike, is that when, you know, with the burning windmill scene, where he's like, this baby is me, and just like, it kind of felt like forced and unnatural, how just like, he just says, this baby is me, this is what I went through. It's just like, it doesn't, like I said, it just feels forced and unnatural. But if there's one thing that I quite would have preferred, is that, you know, Maybe you have uh, Kikuchio like nurture the baby, take care of the baby, kind of like show the like have this hot blooded primitive man have this nurturing side to him, and it doesn't even have to be for that long. But I'm just saying like that could have made Kikuchio like an even more compelling character, but it would take him more away from the characters, you know. Then you have Kambe, uh, Kambe, who is you know the uh, charismatic leader who's always been on the losing side of battle to get for like I but from like losing so much you know he kind of has this wisdom to him so he's very like uh, he has a lot of wisdom from just being from losing all the time and then you have Kyoza who is this uh, Zen like he's very Zen he's a Miyamoto Musashi type character were very, he's, you know, zen, calm, cool, 
and you know a great swordsman and even like Kyoza has this like caring side to him you know he's, he's a very good guy and then you have Katsushiro who is the young naive you know kid who ran away from home and you know and, and his love with Shino could be is like very obviously like saying that love uh, there is no border to love there is no uh, I can't think of the word but class doesn't matter when it comes to love it doesn't matter if you're poor or you're rich if you're in love you're in love which I mean it's done, been done plenty of times before but I just thought I'd point that out and then yeah, that's about it. That was that, those are the uh, characters that get the most like development, I believe, out of all of them. Uh, yeah, those are the characters that get the most development. But it's just like you can't help but just love all these characters because for one thing that I believe the most is that characters are a hundred percent important. Characters are important in any story if you have characters that don't like don't make me want to hug them kiss them or just like just like I don't know like if they're just boring if you're just like alright the characters there it doesn't really matter like if you don't make me feel like some type of way towards a character other than like annoyance I feel like when a character is annoying, that's definitely something that should never happen. But, because even if a character is annoying just to be annoying, you know, that's the purpose, it still just annoys you. But, you know, a character is the most important part in any story. And characters, if the characters are uninteresting and not really enjoyable, you know, you can get that fuck shit out of here. But, I don't know, it's just like there are so many things I could say about that. For like, to be honest, like the way that everything flows, like the editing, it just like, everything is so smooth and it just flows just like in the right amount of like ways. Like, not once am I, like, taken out of it by, like, a terrible, you know, cut, you know? Like, it, it's just, everything just smooths. And that has, like, to do with, like, multiple cameras. I feel like multiple cameras are definitely important and should be used a lot, which they do. I mean, if you look at any action show, you know, they do use multiple cameras. Um... But it's just like still like the way that everything flows together just feels so satisfying, you know, just the nice flow of everything, the flow, flow. It's it's fun. Like watching this film is is fun. It's energetic. You can't like I I don't understand anybody who can watch this film and then say. Eh, like, what do you mean, eh, this film is fucking great, uh, like, this film is good, I even love, like, just the little bits, like, you know, which shows, like, war and its effects, like, what war has on, like, poor people, like, what war does to poor people, you know, it turns them into something that they don't want to be, but they need to be in order to survive, you know, and Kikuchio is like that, you know? Kikuchio is the way he is because of war. He, like... It's just everything. And also, kind of, you know, shows that with, like, soldiers, even though, you know, they won, you know, soldiers still feel like they lost. They don't feel like they won. They don't feel the satisfaction of victory. You know, they've lost some good friends, you know, so they don't really feel like they won. And I love that aspect to that, you know, by the end. And just like, just everything, just, oh my god. Honestly, 
I am excited to see more Kira Kurosawa shit. Like, I, I want to. Like, I'm going to see more stuff by Kira Kurosawa. But hey, just like books and manga, there's a lot of shit that I need to do. Uh, so, I think that's it. This is obviously a 10 out of 10. I mean, to be honest, I don't like doing reviews of, like, they keep being 10 out of 10. You know, last time it was Spirit Away. My first book review was Naomi, which was a 10 out of 10. Pretty sure I gave it a 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah, I think I 100% gave it a 10 out of 10. I hope I didn't give it a 9 out of 10. Because now I feel like that book deserves a 10 out of 10. But anyways, I just like to say what you'd probably see from me next. Probably another movie review. Possibly uh, The Flowers of Evil right over here. That's three volumes, so it'd be perfect for reviewing. And then the book, The Anatomy of Story, would probably be my next book review. Um, and, well, I don't... I'm just saying, probably, I'm not sure if it will be, you know, you don't know, how would you know? Anyways, 7 Samurai, 10 out of 10, like, subscribe, leave a comment, if you got any movie reviews, uh, I mean, <laughs> movie recommendations, manga recommendations, book recommendations, uh, uh, just any, any recommendation that I should at least check out, you know. Please do that. I I would want that. So, thank you for watching.